Duel me. Anyway, we got three duels today. We got Didlove versus Pontes, 756 versus 877. We got me versus Bad Robot. And we got Dart X versus Ladder God. We're going to get through these quickly. I don't want to make this video too long. Let's get started. I like watching Didlove's games. He plays pretty good Frog Hero. This looks like a mirror match, but that's like the new Fraser Smith version. Hmm. I'm just thinking you had Future Fusion for swap in a hero then you could rota for junk I don't know there's a few lines there you could like send subs to toad and then bounce it anyway let's go through these quick don't want to think too long we summon Unifrog pass. That's rough. We're probably just going to set Threatening Roar then. This is weird. I feel like we're super dead. I mean, what is Didlove going to do he from here against two Miracle Fusions? I guess the th something we have going for us is that, like, they can't summon Treeborn, but they have two tokens. Yeah, I don't know. Take 16. We're going to Regeki break this. I'm going to summon Caius. Oh, that that MST wasn't bad. Okay, but they still have Miracle after all this. Yeah, I don't know about this one. Brain control. Wait, is that... Okay, that's not game, but like... Dang. And then we're going to tribute them. Alright. Yeah, that was a rough game. Like, Ponte has opened the stones. They have, like, Miracle Future. Miracle, Miracle Future. Stratos. Swap. Rhoda. And then it did love his, like, summon Unitoad attack. And yes, I call it Unitoad. Summon swap pass. This is fine. Looking at Ponte's hand. Probably going to go through all your frogs, get two swaps, attack, pass. Assuming. That one for, un for one is weird. This is all fine. We don't have an answer to the Vanity Chain, so we want to search for one with the Soul Exchange. Set the one for one because we have to. That's awkward as Didlub. Like, we could almost, like, kind of tell that could be a bluff based on their hand count. But we still want to answer it just because, like, Vanity Chain controls this matchup. And if we can just, like, get rid of a real trap, that's rough. But anyway, we're going to get a free 24 in here. 
then our opponent's going to answer the Vanish Fiend. So we're going to swap Summon Kai's from. Alright, Frog Player doing Frog things. Wait, why did you deprison? Alright, that was a mistake. Like, frogs can't be destroyed by battle. That was a waste of a deep prison. Um, actually, it, it wasn't. I think, maybe did love know this and he just wants to summon the Kais. Maybe that's, that's probably the reason. Alright, we won. Alright, did love's hands, a lot of traps, and a Kai's. This could be like literally any deck if that swap was a tree born. Um, let's look at Ponte's hand. Uh, it's a it's a great hand, so. Wow. Um So we're gonna go Stratos. I wonder if we get if this is like an ocean line. It is. Oh, oh yeah, this makes more sense. Then we just set the threat in your aura and we get the Kai's rolling, I'm assuming. Our opponent has pretty good answers to this, but like. What? No. Oh, that was a mirror force. I thought it was threatening roar. Was that greedy? Brain control. Vanity's fiend. I mean, we have we kind of have answers to this. What was the point of that Regeki right there? Eh, it's fine. We're low in life. We want to keep this Vanity's fiend around. So Pontes is just dead then. Is this lethal? Swap, swap. This might be lethal. Just like zero plus swap, swap. Zero is 4k, 25, 35. Yeah, that's good. Even a Unifrog skin. All right, next game. Let's do me last. Let's do the ladder god. Dart X 895, ladder god 1187. Ladder god is on froggy frogs. Probably the fish as usual. This hand, this is the type of hand I like to go for the, the crazy frog play right away. I mean, like, it might be different with fish. Like, I feel like if you have a Treeborn in hand, you could obviously convert a Swab Frog off of a Substitute into that Treeborn in your hand. You bounce the Swab, you summon Tree, tribute the Tree, go through your Frogs, but like, I kind of just like specialing the Swab in this turn. I guess the reason not to is because we have Brain and we kind of want to convert that with the Sub, maybe. But usually when you commit like a soft lock and um, it sticks, you just get to like go crazy with Unifrog. And if 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 they want to play around it, they're not setting traps. So it's kind of like awesome. Obviously, they have like Brain Kai, so it wouldn't have worked out. But you don't lose much. Like you get to thin out all your frogs and um, draw your better cards.
Maria of Greed. That could be a reason not to play it, to be honest. You have to play a little bit different with the fishies. Get Kaist. Why is there a bubble man in our hand? You actually can summon it next turn. So, yeah, maybe we convert this brain into Caius' turn. Summon Unifrog. Thought Ruler gain one. Didn't even care. Hundred, I don't need that. I mean, Fish God is not drawing any fish, so. Frogs can only carry you so far, unfortunately. They are broken. Um, yeah, this hand isn't like Oyster Meister plus one for one really good because you get to get Substitute plus two frogs. Plus you mill a whole bunch of frogs. And with this fish board, you could even do some synchro plays if you absolutely needed to. So there's a skill drain on the other side of the board. Ooh. Oh, that was interesting. That was quite interesting. I wonder... I think the reasoning is that we have an, another sub in hand, obviously, but... Hmm. Didn't want to play a little bit defensive and go for like a dupe block or a soft dupe block. I mean, it doesn't matter they have Brionic, but I'm just wondering why he did that. It's interesting. Really close to being dead this turn. But we aren't dead, and that's all that matters. Oh, that swap frog's a bad draw. Uh, this Dyna does nothing. Wait, did, why did this feature? Did this future fusion never resolve? Okay. Wait, what? All right, and Ladder God's dead. Wait. Oh, there's a skill drain. I'm like, why didn't we just die and attack for game? But there's a skill drain. All right, these games are awkward. Dang. All right, this hand does some stuff. It's not the worst hand ever. This hand is complete and utter garbage, but we have a foolish to make it work. Sure. So I'm surprised. <sighs> so last game, he kind of went for like a double swap to hand play. But this time he resorts or chooses not to. Um, I'm just wondering. I mean, it's not wrong. I mean, if this dupe dies, more, most of the time we're getting a, a frog. But like they have malicious... It's just interesting, like, I'm not 100% sure. It's not looking good for the god here. To be quite honest. The fish god is uh, looking six feet under. Okay, drawing Caius at timely ti time. I'm tired. Good thing Bubble Man can't beat Swap Frog. And we have a Gore, so Fish God back in it. I 
Okay, Fish God wins. I didn't think they were gonna win that. I don't remember why, but oh yeah, they had like there's like a crazy turn with. No, that wasn't this game either. I don't know. Anyway, let's get to the last duel. Uh, me, 1247, Bad Robot, 967. This guy's got a cool deck. It's kind of toxic, but cool deck. Anyway, we open some one ofs, Nakai's. And they open extremely strong, also. So, what do you do with this hand? I mean, you get the Prodigy. We don't have Frog access, so this guy is going to make our Kaius live and our Junk live. Um, the question is, do we attack? Probably. I mean, there's a good chance it's like a Raikou, right maybe. I mean, I guess when you see Future Fusion, maybe you don't attack. I kind of know what this guy's on. Like, I've seen him around. He usually plays like this Plant Diva Hero deck. So, is this good? Is it good to bring control to play here? I don't, I don't know. I don't know for sure. I think it plays around Caius. I mean, we have the dust sheet. We're going to flip it. But, like... Yeah. There's a world where you hold up that brain control. That's all I'm saying. I think braining the plague kind of lets us, like, not get absolutely destroyed. I think if we had a fader in hand, we probably wouldn't use it. But since we don't, you know. So Dashu, he has a Plague. Obviously, he could drop this Caius. He has a Armageddon. Obviously, he could send Malicious. Um, but the Diva is just like a direct one card answer to this Goyo. So that's why we're picking that. It also, I mean, we know they're getting the Future Fusion. But like, it also puts some Waters in Grave, if that ever were to matter. So get rid of the Diva. Actually, I don't think this dude runs Gilman after this game. Anyway, we're going to draw and we're going to attack. And if they have Gores, maybe we Kaius. I don't I don't know. If they don't, we're just going to set dude probably. His hand isn't doing much. So here comes the crazy plays. They drew a Diva. Um, their hand's insane at this point. So why'd you kiss the face down? I mean, it's fine. No complaints. Attack into gores. Doesn't matter. Alright, we're going to do frog things. We had to think on that one for one. There were some interesting lines where we could like one for one discard. Prodigy, junk it. There's just a few different things we could have chose to do. Here we're just going to get rid of the Colossal and then probably do Gluck. Alright, Unifrog kill, main phase 2. Do we want a Caius? Probably. And if that's the case, we can get a swap first, put it in our hand. Or put one of these cards in our hand. I guess we could have put the Substitute in our hand. No, we're out of frogs. So we can put any one of these in our hand if we want. And we still know they have the miracle. That's all we know. Let's see, so they... Right, nice. You drew all three Kaius. I mean, it's the start of the toxicness. He's not that bad. I'm sure he's a nice guy. So set Diva. They still have no heroes. I know this. So here we have to take the ocean on res because it gives them a hero. And it gives them obviously a synchro. Uh, and they're just going to scoop, right? All right, our hand is not the greatest. It, you can get there with this hand. I mean, if we draw one E-Call or one Caius, 
And then our opponent's hand is just full with Frog Hate. That I mean, this card is not good against frogs. We have a Dust Shoot, though. This card is insane against frogs. Your hand does nothing. We have Dust Shoot, and then he wrote, You deserve that hand. <laughs> and I'm like, Bro, you're toxic. <laughs> and then <laughs> I told him he needs Jesus. And then he corrected me. He wrote, your, Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. Like, look at this guy's hand. Like, he drew just as bad as me because he drew all his side cards. Anyway, let's see what happens. Like, my hand's not that bad. Swap Frog, good draw. And we, he tributes so we know it's Caius. I mean, um, Malicious. So... Summon swap, send this. So I always play around soul release against like the certain decks, but like against like meta decks, I usually don't. Like against like Blackwing and Hero Frog, I'm not gonna play around soul release or zombies even because they have Book of Life, so I feel like they don't even need it. So I could have played around this, and I'm I'm gonna next game, but like I just didn't put them on it to be honest. And I mean, even if they're soul releasing. Are two frogs like whatever and then they make like an army arm because their hands are worse than ours and sure you can so release my frogs that's fine so here we're gonna swap just send like I don't know a swap or something and then we'll just mirror force whatever and tribute it for Caius or Vanny Spin depending on the situation so they keep drawing this crow they're going to summon Malicious, summon Diva, and we're going to think, probably kill the male. Sure. So here we have two lines. We could summon the Caius and banish this Diva, attack the other. This opens up their Miracle Fusion, which we're, we're sure of it. I mean, we, it, we're, we're sure it opens it up, but we're not sure if they have it. Secondly, we could Vanny's Fiend. Vanny's Fiend, there's not too many outs, especially when we have a Compulse. Um, but their best out is Kai's. And looking at their hand, they don't have it, but I'm pretty sure they draw it. So that's rough. So, like, they're, they're like talking crap about our hand, but like, we're actually kind of coming back, even without Frog. So they know we have this Torrential, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they do. Um, but we said Compulse. There's a world where we could have compulsed the diva, to be honest. Hmm. I think that's a bit aggressive. But it could have been good. Anyway, do we want to compulse this Caius? Probably not. Another miracle is live, right? Yeah, that's pretty much game over from here. This torrential could catch him off guard, but he knows we have it. So we drew no heroes still. We got two Miracle Fusion. We get a Compulse this Caius. Rough. Sub to toes, decent. They draw another Miracle. Okay, now their deck's becoming live after 14 turns. So we're going to get Unifrog. Sure. Sub to toad again. Trying to get them to commit, but they drew their third Miracle Fusion. How many miracles are on this board? Two, three, four, five. So sure, we'll get a swap. Stratos effect. Get Prodigy. So could have special the Prodigy, but I I have to save it for this Caius. And I realize I'm gonna be dead to a miracle, but what do you do? Like you can't play around everything. And we're dead. So that's game. Alright, we open up the good stuff again. Stratos Dust Shoot. Sub. Infernal. Regeki Break Heavy. Like This is all decent. Decently good. We're going to go through the frogs. Only one tree born this time. We know they have soul release. I mean, even if they have it, it's pretty decent. Get rid of a hero and a a frog and 
Yeah. Anyway, we're going to dust shoot them so we know they have gores now. Going to get rid of the Kaius because they have um, brain control. It's kind of annoying as they can bring the swap, the sub, and get treeborn. But so be it. So we're going to have to play around this gores the whole time. And since they know that, maybe they have some opportunities to set this mirror force. But I think what happens is they just never set this mirror force the whole entire game. Which you got to at some point, right? Like, you got to understand I'm not playing into gores. And so, since we know that's dandy, we're going to put this dupe in attack. I mean, we know his, his board. Like, he could tribute this gores here, which could be decent. But even then, we're going to set the Regeki break, so... I just knowing his cards in this instance where he's so low on them is super huge for us. So here we get the ocean. That's actually pretty decent. It's going to get some value. I mean, looking at the game state at least. So ocean, first card, get this. They choose not to crow. So in Vanny's Fiend, that's fine. So we tribute the Stratos because hopefully we can get it back with ocean. We have some defense. Definitely probable. Set tree. Ocean again. Get Stratos. Again, no crow. Just going to rota for the last hero while we can. Or last warrior while we can. I think we attack with Vanities to uh, play around Snowman a, a little bit. And I guess like Debris and stuff. Debris 2k attack. So they're going to get Cyber Valley. Still haven't set this Mirror Force. At this point, I think, all right, you're at 14. Your Gores is never, is almost never live, and your opponent knows you have it, right? Why are we not setting Mirror Force? Do we think this is MST? Well, guess what? It's not. Obviously, we have the Regeki Break for the Valley and the Heavy for the Mirror Force, so it is whatever. But, like, at no point in the game, you, you decided to set this Mirror Force because of that Gores in your hand, and it just ended up costing you the whole game. I mean... Looking at the game, like, they didn't have much going for them, but, you know, I think you might understand what I'm saying. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click the subscribe button, and uh, leave a comment telling me why Frog Hero is the best deck.